Welcome. By now you know how to parse your data, how to search your data, and perhaps how to use some of the fancier operators in Sumo logic. What I want to talk about right now is how to build dashboards. As you can see from here, dashboards are created by a series of panels placed into one same dashboard. Behind each of these data panels, there is a query. So I'm going to show you how to take a query and convert it into a panel that you can place into a dashboard. I'm going to start by using um, a query that I have already pulled up in here. In this particular case, I'm parsing a couple of fields out of my, um, out of my logs, and I'm in particular pulling the status code, and then I'm going to be showing a trend of my status codes over time. Using a transpose, I'm able to use build the table shown in here. Time slices down my left uh, column, and I can see uh, my status codes up on the top. So, this is kind of an interesting table, but probably something a little more meaningful would be, what if I start plotting these? Perhaps I want to show a line graph showing that trend over time, or an area graph, or a bar chart, as I was showing before. What if I want to highlight my 404s versus everything else? I can click on this cogwheel and perhaps change the series, and I'm going to say, you know what? Everything should be columns, but in the case of my 404s, I want to show it as a line in a secondary axis so that I can see how it stacks against that. Fantastic. So now that I have something that is graphable or chartable, I want to put that into a panel, into a dashboard. I'm going to click on this last one in here saying that says create a panel. And when I do that, I can give it a name. In this case, I'm going to give it um, Apache status code and highlighting my 404s. I'm going to put it into my Apache access logs dashboard that already exists and click on add. And what you'll see it happens is it's going to open a new tab and it's going to start populating that dashboard with everything that existed from it, if you recognize this from before, in addition to my new dashboard that I just added, which is going to populate in just a second. While that is populating, I'm going to point out a couple of other types of uh, panels you can add. You can add a title panel, you can add a text panel, and you can do that in edit mode from here, adding titles and panels. Okay, so last but not least, I want to show you that this is very easy to drag and drop. Perhaps I want to make this one a little smaller, and I want to drag my brand new panel into a new position and resize it so that it fits the bill. And there you go. Here's my new panel within the new dashboard. One more thing I want to point out is that you do not need to start from scratch. We actually have multiple apps that exist in our library. So if you go into apps in here, um, perhaps I'm pulling Apache data. We have out-of-the-box apps that give us data that has already been built for us. In this case, we have some dashboards and some queries for Apache that we assume most of our customers want. So let me just walk you through some examples. Fortunately, I've already installed Apache apps. And here are some examples of those dashboards. Again, I did not have to build these. These come out of the box. And, and just by telling it which source category it's using, I get a lot of dashboards that already exist in my environment. The great news about this is that I can click on any of these panels and it will take me to the query that built those panels. So I can easily see, or if you want to consider it cheating, I can easily cheat and go back and see how each one of those panels was built. I hope this was helpful for you guys and that it actually gave you some good um, base for how to start building your dashboards. Thank you.